Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Pill and Barbecue. Today we're going to sear some steaks on the Traeger Ranger. Stay tuned. Alright folks, today we've got some New York strips from Butcher Box that we're going to sear on the Traeger Ranger. And we're not going to uh, reverse sear or anything like that. We're just straight searing these steaks until they get an internal temperature of around 125, 130 degrees. Then we're gonna take them off, let them rest, and they should be at a perfect temperature at that point. Uh, we're gonna season them with meat church, a little holy cow barbecue rub. That's gonna be perfect with this beef. And uh, then we're gonna get them on, so let's go ahead and get these things seasoned. All right, we're gonna season these steaks up. First thing I'm gonna do is put a little olive oil on them, oil them up a little bit, give it a little something for the rub to stick to. These are grass-fed, grass-finished ribeyes. And we're going to use the Holy Cow from Meat Church. A lot of good pepper, a lot of coarse seasonings on this rub. Going to give these a good coating on all sides. All right, that's it. So now we're going to get that grill up to temperature, and then we're going to start searing. All right, so we're over here at the Traeger Ranger, and we're fixing to get this thing cranked up to 450 degrees, highest it'll go. I've got my pellets already in here. This is Signature Blend Pellets, and I've got my grill grates on. I've already cleaned them. Before I get started with the temp, I'm going to go ahead and oil those up a little bit, spray them with a little cooking spray. And now we're ready to rock. We're gonna go all the way up to 450 degrees. It'll probably get up to around 460-ish. And as soon as it gets up there, I'm gonna let those grill grates get hot. And then we're gonna start this sear process. All right, the grill's up to 450 degrees and we're ready to get these steaks on. Now a couple of things that you're gonna need when you're doing this. Uh, the first thing is something cold to drink. We've already got that. You need a good meat thermometer. Now, I'm using Thermoworks. I've got a Thermopen and a Thermopop, but you need a good, reliable meat thermometer. I've also got a timer. I'm using my cell phone, and I'm going to time this one at about a minute 45, a uh, minute 45 seconds, and then we're going to give it a twist. Uh, we're going to do that several times. I'll show you how we're going to do that. Also, you need a good spatula. Uh, or a set of tongs, a spatula for the grill grates, or some glove liners with nitrile gloves. Now, I like the gloves better because when I turn the steaks, I like to press them down into the grill grates a little bit. Um, but those are the kind of things that you're going to need. This thing goes really fast, so go ahead and get you a platter or whatever you're going to put the steaks on after they're done. Go ahead and get that ready as well. Have everything laid out uh, so you don't have to go searching for stuff because this goes really quick. So now let's get to searing these steaks. All right. Real great for piping hot. Press it down in there. And that rub smells good right off the bat when it hits that hot grill. All right, both of them are on, lid closed. Start the timer for a minute, 45 seconds. All right, it's been a minute and 45 seconds, so now we're fixing to give these things a twist. About 45 degrees. Press them down into those grill grates. Get the lid closed. Minute 45. All right. Minute 45. Now we'll get to flip it over. See what they look like. 
very nice sear on them. Get them back down in that grill grate. Close it a minute 45. All right, it's been a minute 45 seconds. So now we're gonna twist again. And at this point, we're just worried about internal temperature. That's all we're worried about now. So we're gonna stick that right in the middle. We're at 91, 90 degrees. Now that one right there is about 110 degrees. So we still got a little ways to go. Close that lid, get the heat on it. And we're looking for an internal temp about 125, 130, and then we're gonna take these off. Check the internal temps. Oh yeah, we're at 132, 33 right there. Check it in multiple spots. Yeah, we need to take these off, these are done. Take them off, let them rest for a few minutes, and then we'll see what we got. All right, so these steaks have been resting for about 15 minutes, I guess. Um, they got juice everywhere. We're fixing to cut into them and see how we did. I might have gone a little bit over the intended done this, but yeah, a little bit, but it's still got a little pink to it, probably a medium well, probably. I don't know. That one looks pretty good right there. Let's check this one out. Super tender. I know that. Not too bad. So let's give us a slice and see how it tastes. That thing slid right through like butter. I know that. Let's try it. Some of that juice in there. First of all, tender, and I'm gonna tell you, I buy my butcher boxes. They're not sent to me. This is not a commercial. That is as tender as can be. I'm gonna tell you that meat church. Holy cow! The pepper really comes out in that. And that's wonderful on beef. A little piece of fat right there on the end. Perfect. I don't care where you get your steak from. Get you some steaks. Get you a Traeger Ranger. Some grill grates. And share that steak. Till next time we'll be fiddling.